Hmm, is it working? Okay, hi guys, and welcome back to some more Plague Inc. Evolved. So, I am infected once again. Don't know how that happened. It's not COVID. I uh, did just uh, get myself um, tested. Like, um, this is one of the cool things that I uh, like about how things have been um, developing over around here in the um, UK with like free um, tests and even free lateral like COVID tests like if you, if you don't have uh, symptoms so while I you know don't agree with the government with everything I think that is a pretty swell thing but uh, yeah it seems like I just caught another cold and as the um, the you know as we have done things in this channel before like my promise after i finished uh, playing this game it was that you know every time that i would uh, uh, get sick i would come back and uh, give it like another uh, you know just another uh, little play around we uh, have already finished cure mode that was the last thing that we played we played without being sick i finished them i finished all of them on like brutal i haven't finished them on mega brutal that's like a little bit next level i did eventually manage to finish like the um, the fungus and the nanovirus those were like so annoying but yeah i believe i don't think are there any new official scenarios no we did play all of these at some point so it means that we are uh, back to uh, custom scenarios i don't think there's been many more new that have been added over here but um a realistic zombie virus vod zombie virus mod. i did i just I, I just said virus vod oh my god i think complete this mod is a scenario format this mod will be updated depending on user feedback i haven't played um a zombie plague in a long while you know what i think i'm actually i think i'm actually gonna go give this, this a try you have the necro virus which tries to simulate like a um, zombie outbreak so um yeah we can uh, we can give that a jump a try uh i don't remember how how would i i had the the regular zombie one i think it was like darwinist yeah we don't care about the cure because we're gonna turn people into zombies anyway and those can't be cured so yeah oh we haven't unlocked these uh, I guess I haven't played enough. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, um, uh, we'll we'll give it. We'll give the regular brutal rogue cadav MK1. That's an unusual name, and I do believe that the sound, the game sound, is working right. Awfully quiet right now. Just when I want to check it. Welcome to my scenario. The scenario will allow you to unleash the most realistic zombie viruses upon the Plague Inc. world. Other scenarios gone into this much detail that, I've, uh, that I have found anyway. Have fun playing it. Well, we will definitely see. Yeah, it seems like the sound is working. I am um, curious. Change the way in which countries communicate in terms of air transmission and travel and vehicles and wildlife. The game is more realistic. Choose wisely. Whoa. Okay. I can't remember how I would, how I originally played the Necrovirus. I know there was that achievement that you can get with like winning with the Necrovirus without getting zombies. That one was extremely difficult and you had to start in like India or China or something like that. But for the rest of the stuff, I think the generic works well. All right, let's see what we have. Uh, hmm, cold water systems. Okay, and the infected wildlife. That is not exactly realistic. What we have here. Oh, this is different. And the orbital car forcing host to obsess over specific worm related task. Oh, there is um that is the zombie mode over there. Fake sleepers. For humans to approach them. I think we want to um get infectivity early on we'll try to make it like uh realistic to like um the world war z or the um, zombie survival guide virus and then we might give it another try uh and try to actually play to win as you're supposed to 
There's not really a way, uh, any place for me to put my camera over here. I will always cover something. So that's why I generally don't play this with my camera on. But I think here is fine. Like, I only covered the, um, the time. Genetic hardening, bacterial resistance. Why the fuck do we need bacterial resistance where a virus? Um... Ma, Ma Duderino, I appreciate your um, extreme um, dedication, but I think you'll need more more work to do on this. So it doesn't really spread through physical contact, it usually just spreads through like like mites. It usually just spreads through like blood contact, the zombie, the original zombie virus. Now you know, you can obviously have a situation in which you somehow spray those droplets around but um, that's generally unusual mm -hmm. weeping stores delirium paranoia rash yeah that that, that is actually um, a good uh, a realistic symptom top-notch mine opens in Sweden right because it's you know Skin lesion, sneezing, coughing. Uh, neither of those are really. Let me remember. I read the book, so like the symptoms, there's like, you know, rash and discoloration in the area of the bite or whatever the virus entered. Then you go things like fever, headaches. Then it goes into like. Um, Things such as nausea and vomiting, then you go into like paralysis and um hmm. I uh I don't know. It is very resilient to weather effects, so I guess we can do it like that instead. Unleash the horde. <laughs> Very funny. Bat. Don't have anything here. Tap water. I guess it can technically survive. We are going a little bit away from it now. But it is technically possible. The gene can change itself instantly. We're starting all cure progress and it is also very expensive. Alright, seems like we're doing well for now. Should we just go zombie mode already? Water droplets. God, that's so expensive. I mean, we do have a little bit of severity. Do you have anything to reduce that? That all, all of them increases it. Like, if we could reduce it, I think we can just lay low and wait it out for it to spread until we go to the zombie mode. It is spreading pretty well. Nothing to worry around here. Hasn't been detected yet, which is brilliant. Oh, they have detected it. Oh shit, alright, well, this is where we, um... I guess we can wait and see, like, how fast they go with the... Um, with the vaccine. That was very expensive and I probably shouldn't have done that, but... We'll see how we can... That is... Oof. Concerned. Regenerative abilities, yeah. And I remember you had to go like pretty slow to, in order to guide the zombies and all that. Um, what do we have here? Photophobia, psychosis. Yeah, let's just go zombies. 
cranial metastasis, allowing some decapitated corpses to reanimate. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Ah! It's annoying. Alright, well, we're doing it regardless. Zombies are starting. They're gonna get fucking overwhelmed. Okay, let's get the hordes ready. Hmm. I guess we need higher death rate in order to um to get people to die and turn into zombies, you know. Otherwise we're just not gonna just not gonna do it. Oops. Well it's spreading very fast. Okay, let's slow things down a bit, see how things are going. We already switched to zombie mode. Shuts down seaports, a little bit late for that. Um, which one were the hordes? Pulmonary hemorrhage mutated. Reanime zombie horde, yeah, it's this one, X. I don't think we need it at the moment. Cute encephalitis, there you go, and fever. Those are the symptoms that I was looking for. And they finally realized that it is a zombie outbreak. Took them long enough. We're we gonna have the Zcom pop up. Yeah, they do in Greenland. Ugh, that's gonna be annoying. To take them out. We need to um, go for them there. Any way to like give them like combat advantage? Zombies destroy Saudi Arabia. They are not in Philippines, so I can have I have to send them there. They are not in the Caribbean, so I have to send them there. Yeah, they are growing stronger there. Oh, they're gonna set up a new military base. Holy fuck, we're demolishing the countries. Let's see when the um, zombies arrive there. Six zombies? What the fuck was that? Maybe we're hoping that like, the infectivity will hold on. Okay, we did get over there. We're gonna get to the Philippines too. We also got to Norway. Oh, it's going pretty down though. So let's invade them. Let's invade them from here too. They are keeping the zombies pretty well contained. Let's reanimate them. Yeah, no more zombies there. Right, no, from no, mm -mm. didn't want that. Wow, we have so many points. Holy shit! Okay, uh, organ failure, dysentery. I don't think infectivity matters much at this point. Feels like they're we're missing stuff. Okay, they got destroyed. Though they got destroyed there. Okay, Mexico is still holding on strong. They are gonna get absolutely demolished there. What? Uh, the hordes are small. We don't have the um, the things that uh, increased the hordes. Uh, there you go. Uh, hmm. Wait, was that? No. Did they need to do the genetic swap? I'm very confused by how this this one works. We did pretty well, but the zombies are like extremely weak. That seems to be the um, the issue. I guess that's the realism that they mentioned. You don't really have. Yeah, I guess they were 
a little bit exaggerating. Oh god, they are all dead. Come on. Ah, shit. Move there, move there. I think we can just keep reanimating them. That seems to bring more. Ugh, oh, this is so obnoxious. Okay, at least it seems like we are gonna collapse Mexico. Greenland, too, maybe? Come on. Sending, like, hordes of, like, seven zombies. Yeah, they fell down. Okay, it seems like it finally did the trick. It is very unusual. It is an unusual little uh, scenario. I don't know what to say about this. Yeah, we finally got Norway as well. And Greenland is down for the count. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, like, I know the original is not the very realistic, but, um, I don't feel like this one has really, this scenario has really done it justice either. Uh, but it is in development, so he can still, um, he can still work on it. Um, uh, sure, we'll give it a recommend. Well, that was pretty, uh, pretty fast. But uh, it was long enough to make a video, so we'll wrap it up over here. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Make sure you have a like, subscribe, and see more. Hopefully, I will recover from this cold fast. But hey, it's good. Uh, it reduces the chance to catch COVID by like 30% if you have a cold and recover from it. So we, we should be good. See you guys next time. We're going to make. Yeah, stop working. Bye-bye.